Okay, this is section 4.3, congruent triangles. Uh, triangles are congruent if they have the same size and shape. The corresponding parts, the angles and the size that are in the same position are congruent. So in this section, we're gonna be talking about congruent triangles and how to identify when triangles are congruent, okay? So if I ask you, Give me the corresponding parts. That means that you're going to have to give me the angles and the sides that corresponds to each other. How is that going to be? Well, based on the position. For example, here, I want you to, you know, make sure that you follow the, the statement here. The statement given, which is this here, it says triangle ABC is congruent to triangle J, K, L. So that means that A is gonna be corresponding, okay, so A corresponds to the first letter over here, which is J. So angle A corresponds to angle J. Angle B to angle K. Angle C to angle L. So it depends on the position, the first position. So that's the first position on the other triangle. So if you look at the triangle, look at A. A has a single mark, okay, congruent mark here. So this one also has on the other triangle is J has a single mark. So these two correspond to each other. The one with the double mark, which is angle B, look at that's the second letter, two congruency marks. That corresponds to angle K, because that's the second letter over here on the other triangle. And then three congruency marks on angle C. See that C is a third letter. That goes with L, which is L in the picture has three congruent marks. So when you list the sides, I mean the angles that are corresponding, you're going to have to list them and you're going to have to say, okay, so angle, you put the angle A, angle A is congruent to angle J, A to J. Angle B to angle K, B to K. Angle C congruent to angle L, C to L. And then the same thing applies when you look at the sides, okay? When you look at the sides, what helps is the statement given. For example, if you look at the first two letters here. Okay, so AB. Well, AB is going to be congruent to JK if these two triangles are congruent. See, they're telling me here that they're congruent. So AB, first and second letter, first and second letter. So AB has three congruency marks. Therefore, JK, JK, JK has three congruency marks. These two sides correspond to each other. Then if you look at the second and third letter, B and C, well, that corresponds to KL. BC has one congruency mark. KL has one congruency mark. So these two sides correspond to each other. And then if you look at the first letter, A, last letter, C, AC corresponds to JL. AC, JL. And when you list them, you're going to have to list them like that. You're going to have to say AB with the segment symbol on top is congruent to JK, BC to KL, CA to LJ because of the congruency marks on the picture. Okay, so to identify corresponding parts of congruent triangles, look at the order of the vertices in the congruent statement, such, such as triangle ABC is congruent to triangle JKL. So let's go ahead and do the first example. It says, given, given the triangle X, Y, Z congruent to N, P, Q. So I don't even have to look at the picture, okay? But if they ask me for angle Z, okay, that's the third letter. That has to be with angle Q. So I put that, angle Q. And if you look at the picture, Angle Z has two congruency marks. The one that has two congruency marks is Q. So perfect. I just look at the position. Number two, the segment um, YZ. Okay, well, 
why z has two congruency marks? The one that has two congruency marks is qp. Well, if you look at the statement, yz is second and third letter, pq, second and third letter. So pq, yz are corresponding segments. So I put here p, q. Then I look at the next one, number three, angle P. Well, angle P is the second letter that goes with the second letter, which is Y. Well, the answer is angle Y. And if you look at the picture, it should correspond. So angle P is single congruency arc here. So Y is the one that has a single congruency arc. Angle uh, X. Well, angle X is the first letter, so that go corresponds to angle N angle N. And if you want to come from the picture, angle X, three letters, N, I'm not three letters, three congruency marks, N, three congruency marks. NQ. NQ is first and third letter, so I should be first and third letter on the other triangle, so it's X, Z. X, Z with the segment symbol on the top. And if you look at the picture, again, N, Q, N, Q, three congruency marks, three congruency marks is X, Z. Last one, P, N. Well, P, N is first and second letter. First and second letter is X, Y, with the symbol on the top, okay? Now let's go ahead and move down. At the bottom, oh, wait a minute, I have one more here. They're giving me here Y, Z, X. Okay, Y, Z, X. So that's going to be congruent to triangle P, Q, N. Okay, so it's so triangle Y, Z, X is congruent to triangle that was P, Q, N, N, because I follow that. And if you look at the picture, see, I start from Y. This is what you can do when you're just, you know, if the picture is given, is the only thing that is given, then you start at Y. So do this. It's going from Y to Z and then from Z to X. So if they only give you a picture, then go with the corresponding you know, marks. So it's single congruency mark and then it goes towards this, the double congruency mark. So that has to be single towards the double, so it's P to Q, and then from the double to the triple congruency mark. So that would be P Q and N. So that's what you will do if the picture is given only, not the statement. Okay, so here they're giving me uh, one more time. It says triangle EGF. Okay, EGF, it goes from first to the third and then to the second. Well, it has to be corresponding to first, third, and second. So I'm going to complete my statement. Triangle R T and S. Okay, so they're asking me number seven. What's the measurement of angle a, well of X? Well, X, if you can see X, that is on angle E. And since angle E, let me erase what I have. Okay, so since angle E if you look at the statement, angle is the first letter that goes with angle R. So R is 90. That means that E should be 90. So I'll put that. I'm going to put 4X plus 6 equals 90. Then I solve for X, subtract 6. That would be 4X equals 84 divided by 4. That would be 21. So it is 21. Okay, now they want me to find y in problem number 8. Okay, so if I, I look for y, where's y? Okay, so over here at t. Well, t corresponds, is a third letter, with g. Third letter with g. So that measurement, angle t, should be the same as angle g. So I'm going to write it over here. So the measurement of angle t is the same, is equal to the measurement of angle G. So since T is 6Y minus 2, 
Okay, that looks like a five. Let me just let me just make sure that it is a five. It is a five. I'm sorry. Yes, it's a five. Okay, great. So let me go back. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Oops. Okay. Well, I think that's good enough. Okay, let me get my eraser. Let me see if I can erase that. I cannot erase that. Okay, so I'm going to have to just rewrite it, okay? So forget about that. Angle T, it's 5Y minus 2 equals to 28. Then I solve for Y, add 2 to both sides. 5Y equals 28 plus 2 is 30 divided by 5. So 30 divided by 5 is 6 plus 6. Okay, measurement of angle F. Okay, well, angle F, since I know that angle G is 28 and angle E is 90, if you remember yesterday, we talked about the corollary on the two acute angles equal to 90. So angle F is going to be 90 minus 28, which is equals to 62 degrees. ST. Well, ST, if you look at ST, that's the second and the third letter. FG is second and third letter. So that means that those two segments are congruent. So I can let them equal to each other. Let me let them equal to each other. So FG, it's congruent to ST, which means that 3Z minus 8 equals to z plus 4. Then you just saw 4z, that is 2z, then add 8, that is 12, and then divided by 2, so x is equals to 6, but they want st. So I go back and I put 6, 4, is not x, is z. Okay, let me come back. Change that letter. We're so used to the X that I kept the X. But no, it's Z. So since Z is equal to 6, I'm going to substitute Z for, for 6. And 6 plus 4, that is 10. Okay? So this is the first part of section 4.3.